A diagram is a device used to list all the possible possibilities of a sequence of events in a systematic way. Okay? A tree diagram is a device used to list all the possibilities of a sequence of events in all a systematic way. In a systematic way. Okay? So for example, tossing a coin and rolling a die. A coin is tossed and a die is rolled. So find the uh, number of outcomes for um, So find the number of outcomes for the sequence of events. Okay? So how do we do that? Okay. So in a coin, so we do have head and then tails. Okay? If it is head, for the die, we do have six choices. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? And then if it is tail, okay, for the coin, there are two choices, head and tail. So if the if the if the if the first choice is head, and then for the die there are six choices. Okay, so it's a three diagram. Then another one, second choice is tail, and then for the tail there are six choices for the dice. Okay, so therefore, how many number of outcomes do we have? How many number of outcomes do we have? So we have one, two, head one, head two, head three, head four, head five, head six, and then we do have tail one, tail, and then two. Tail and then three, tail and four, tail five, tail and then six. So how many number of outcomes from the sequence of events? How many? How many people? You just count. How many outcomes do we have? So we have one, two, what, what, what is it? Okay, twelve. So there are twelve outcomes. Okay. So there are twelve outcomes. You just simply count the number of possible outcomes that we have. So it's twelve. Okay. So next, create a three diagram to answer. There are four blood types, A, B, A, B, and O. Blood can also be RH positive and RH negative. Finally, a blood donor can be classified as either male or female. How many different ways can a donor have his or her blood? Okay, so this would be your three diagram. Okay, so the main point is the, own, is the donor. Okay? The donor can be classified in four blood types. So we have A, blood type, uh, blood type A, B, A, B, and then D. Okay, A, B, A, B, and then O, sorry, O. Type A, type B, type A, B, and then type O. So these are the four blood types, okay? If the donor is type A, okay, a blood can also be RH positive and then RH negative, okay? Then you need to identify if the donor is a female or male, okay? Donor is a female or male. So how many possible outcomes do we have? How many possible outcomes do we have? How many possible outcomes do we have? Just simply be, just simply count. Sixteen. Okay, there are sixteen. Okay, so there are sixteen. So a donor is a type A, uh, type A blood with a positive Rh positive then male. Okay, so that's the first outcome, and then so on and so forth. So you need to count everything so you have sixteen. Okay. Next, what about this one? Three members of social organization have volunteered to serve as officers for the following year to take positions as president, treasurer, secretary, construct a tree diagram in which the three, in which the uh, three can assume their position. So how do we answer this one? Three members of social organization have volunteered to serve as officers for the following year. So to take a position as president, treasurer, and secretary, construct a tree diagram. So how do we do that? How do we construct this one? This from uh, this problem so to construct this problem okay so we have volunteer so we do have three members of an organization so we have member a member b and then member c or you can represent that as one two three okay so the first the the uh, first member so what are those positions that we have so we have president treasurer and then secretary Okay, if member A is the president, so for that treasurer, he can be member B or member C. Okay, if member A is the president, and let's say that member B is a treasurer, therefore for the secretary, who's member? For secretary, it can be member C. Okay, so that's the first outcome. So we have A, B, C, meaning A is the president, 
B is the pressure, and then C is the secretary. That's the first outcome. Next, what about the second outcome? If member A is the president, and C is the treasurer, therefore, member B is the secretary. So we have A, B, A, C, B, meaning member A is the president, member C is the treasurer, and then member B is the secretary. Okay? So that will be your second outcome. Next, what about, what about the other one? Let's say member B is the president. Okay? Member B is the president. So for the treasurer, you do have two option ones. Okay? It can be member A or member C. Okay? So if the president is member B, and let's say the treasurer is member A, therefore, who's your secretary? Who's the secretary? Okay, C. So what will be your third outcome? Your third outcome is B, A, C. Meaning, B is the president, A is the treasurer, C is the secretary. Okay? Next, if the president is member B, and the, this time the treasurer is member C, therefore, who's your, mem who's your secretary? Your secretary is? A. Okay, member A. So what is your outcome? Your outcome is B, C, A. What do you mean by B, C, A? Meaning, uh, B is your president, member C is your treasurer, and then member A is your secretary. Okay, next. What if your president is member C? Okay, member C. For the treasurer, there are, there are two options. It can be member A or member B. So assuming that C is your president and A is your treasurer, so therefore, who's your secretary? Okay, B. Okay? Let's say C is the president and then this time your treasurer is member B, therefore your secretary is member A. So what are the outcomes? So you have C, A, B, C, B, A. Okay? So how many possible outcomes do we have? How many? Six. Okay, six. So there are six ways. Okay, so there are six ways. So that is three diagram. Okay, three diagram. Next, multiplication rule of counting. So instead of constructing three diagram, we can apply multiplication rule of counting. Okay, so what is multiplication rule of counting? In a sequence of n events in which the first one has k sub of one possibilities and the second event has k sub of two and then the third has k sub of three and so on and so forth, the total po po uh, possibilities of the sequence will be k sub 1 multiplied by k sub 2 multiplied by k sub 3 up to k sub n. Okay? Up to k sub n. So, the question is, Miss, how do we apply that? Okay? So, let's try to, uh, let's try to, uh, up, let's try to apply that in the given example a while ago. Okay? So, you do have three members. Okay? Three members. And there are three positions. Okay? So, we have first member, second member, and then third member. Okay? So, we Aside from constructing, okay, aside from three diagram to determine the uh, possible outcome, we can also use multiplication rule, okay? And let's try to figure it out, what's the, what's the connection, okay? So the same problem a while ago, so there are three members in an organization, okay? Aspiring to, to be a, in a position of president, uh, treasurer, and then secretary. For the first member, so this is our first member, second member, and then third, third member. For the first member, how many uh, possible choices of position? that the first member can accumulate or can uh, there are three okay the first member he has or she has three possible choices okay first member can be a president can be treasurer can be a secretary okay let's say that the first member she is the president okay she get the position as a president for the second member how many choices na lang if the first member is already the president for the second member ilan na lang yung titerong choices in the position okay two and what are those secretary treasurer okay secretary treasurer so you do have two choices okay let's say the second member is your treasurer so for the third member how many choices na lang for that position one, one and that would be secretary, secretary. Okay. So using multiplication rule of counting, you just simply multiply the uh, number of options or number of choices. So 3 multiplied by 2, what is the answer? 6. Okay, 6 ways. So that's the connection of 3 diagram and multiplication rule of counting. Okay? You get the point? Can you see the connection? Next, what about this one? Types of paint. A paint manufacturer wishes to manufacture 
several different paints. The uh, categories include color, type, texture, and then use. How many different kinds of paint can be made if you can select one color, one type, one texture, and then one use? So in this particular answer, how in this particular question, how do we answer it? How do we answer it? So we have color, type, texture, and then use. Okay. For the color, how many possible choices? For the color, how many? Sorry. Seven. Okay, seven. Seven possible choices. Next, for the type, how many possible choices? Two. Okay, two. Next, for the texture. Three. Okay, three. And then for uh, use. Two. Okay, two. Okay, so there are two possible choices. Okay, two possible choices. Okay, so just simply multiply it. So how many? How many different kinds of paint can be made? 84. Okay, 84 different kinds of paint can be made. Okay? We cannot subtract uh, 7 to the other, to the next one, because they are different. Okay? Different, different color, different type. Okay? Next example. A nurse has three patients to visit. How many different ways can she make her rounds if she visits each patient only once? Okay? A nurse has three patients to visit. How many different ways can she make her rounds if she visits each patient only once? So how do we answer number one? Can anyone? A nurse has three patients to visit. How many different ways can she make her rounds if she visits each patient only once? This is it three times two times one? Okay, how do you get that? That's correct. Three times two times one. Uh, since three patients no, and one time nagpush ay visit, mm -hmm. it's gonna subtract one for each. Mm -hmm. Enough. Okay, very good. So the, how many? Six. Okay, six. So since there are three patients, okay. So more or less, it means that it means that she will visit thrice, okay? So first visit, second, and then third visit. In the first visit, how many choices or how many patients are possible? How many number? Okay, there are three. Okay, now there are three uh, uh, possible patients to choose. Okay, let's say she visit the uh, first patient or the second visit. Ina na lang yung patient na possible na puntahan. Two na lang. And then one. Okay? Because according to the statement, she visit each patient only once. Okay? Only once. So you have three times two times one. So you have six ways. Okay? Next, number two. Employees of a large corporation are to be issued special coded identification cards. The card consists consist of four letters of the alphabet. Each letter can be used up to four times in the code. How many different ID cards can be issued? So how do we answer number two? Employees of a large corporation are to be used, are to be issued special coded identification cards. The cards consist of four letters of the alphabet. Each letter can be used up to four times in the code. So how many different ID cards can be issued? Four times. How many letters of the alphabet? There are how many? How many letters from A to Z? How many? So the card consists of four letters. So one, two, three, four. And then there's a, there's a condition. Letter can be used up to four times. Up to four times. So in the first letter, how many number of choices? How many number of choices? How many number of choices? 26. Please. Okay, 26. What about the second uh, what about the second letter? What about the second letter? What about the second letter? Ilan yung choices sa second letter? 26. Bro. Okay, still 26. Why is it? Back 26 again. Why is it 26? Why is it 26? Yes. Why is it 26? Because uh, the letters can be repeated. Okay, very good. Can be repeated. How many times? Four times. Okay, four times. So meaning 26, 26, 26, and then 26. Or that will be the same as 26 raised to 4. Am I right? So can you check if they have both the same answer? 26 times 26 times 26 times 26, 26 or 26 raised to 4. So what will be the answer? Are they the same? 
Twenty-six raised to four. Is it the same as four hundred fifty-six thousand nine hundred seventy-six? Twenty-six raised to four. Twenty-six raised to four. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, they are the same. Okay. Next, what about this one? The digits zero, one, two, three, and four are to be used in a four-digit ID card. How many different cards are possible if repetition are permitted? The digits zero, one, two, three, four are to be used in a four-digit ID card. How many different cards are possible if repetition are permitted? So how do we answer this one? 124. 100? 120. 101? 120. How do you get 120? 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. Kindly read the problem. If repetitions are permitted. If repetitions are permitted. 600. 600. Why? How do you get 625? I missed two four. Mm -hmm. Because there's five digits and like four digits. Okay. So since there are four spaces to fill, uh, and five choices for each space, then the solution is five times five times five times five. So that will be five raised to four or 625. And then the second problem, the first digit can be chosen in five ways, but the second digit can be chosen only four ways. Since there are only four digits left, that's the solution is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. So that will be 120. 120 if it's not, uh, if, if, if repetition is not allowed. Okay, 120, your answer a while ago, that's correct, if the repetition is not allowed. Okay, but if the repetition is allowed, so meaning there are 4 digits, so you need to repeat the, the number of digits that you have. So if it's 5 digits, so you need to use 5 digits for each. So you do have 5 raised to 4, so that will be 6. Since it's not repeated or repetition, it's not included, then your answer will be 120. So that is multiplication rule for counting, okay?